I am in a great mood today, you guys. Very, very chipper. Hey you, what up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I'm Mariam. Today I am reviewing, revealing, dissecting, applying to my face the latest by Huda Beauty, her Naughty Nude palette. I love the inspiration behind this palette. I'm gonna talk about it further in this video. Something that I'm just a little bit jittery about, but it's something that I think might be relatable to some of you. Also, of course, I'm gonna be doing a whole look using this palette, this one that you see on my eyes right now. I'm gonna be doing some swatches on the swatch model as always and per usual, and of course, course, giving you guys a verdict at the end. Team Truth style as always. So please don't buy till I try and remember to like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can see all of my Wednesdays and Sundays videos. And now let's get to it. Huda Beauty, Naughty Nude. Are you sexy? And are we ready for you? Let's hit it. Here she comes. Naughty Nude. Ooh. Ooh. And here's literally my like second or third glance at this palette. Off the bat, these are my kind of colors. They're very warm and inviting. They're very fall appropriate, very holiday appropriate. I love the chocolate tones. I love the wine tones, the berry tones. I feel like all of this is extremely, extremely wearable. So now this palette is 18 shades. It is $67 available on November 1st. So the day that this video goes live, links down below. Let's go over the facts. So now this palette has five different eyeshadow formulations and finishes. We have eight velvety soft mattes. Boom. We have five high shine metallics. Boom. We have three multi-reflective marble creams, and we also have one hypnotic marble cream. So I'm not really sure which one is which, but these are basically the marble shades here. Some of them have shimmery swirls, and I'm assuming this is the hypnotic one because it's kind of like a matte looking marble. Okay, and last but not least, we have this super unique gloss type of formulation, which Huda Beauty calls encapsulated pearls. And now apparently every single palette is different. Some palettes have more pearls than others, but basically that doesn't matter because it's all about the gloss. And this shade is appropriately named Slippery. Basically this palette is inspired by embracing your own sexy, your own sexuality, and kind of just learning to love yourself accepting it and being really powerful with it. So I love that inspiration. And I think all of these colors are actually extremely sexy. So that I see immediately. I see the inspo. I'm ready to dive in. I'm ready to swatch all of these shades and I'm ready to create a look. We need the swatch model. Ready? Get in this bitch. And bam, filthy. Filthy. So Filthy is kind of like a matte, cool, rosy tone. Glides really smoothly and beautifully. Wow, that was just one dip. Love that. Nice Next for, up. Nice for a matte. Passion. Passion. So this is one of those swirls. So I'm just gonna swirl my finger. And this is kind of what that color looks like when it's swirled. Very nice. Like a muted purple, I would say. Oh, Next yeah. we've got. Shameless. Shameless, like the show. But much prettier. This is gorgeous. I love that one. That's Ooh. nice. That's fine. Please me. <laughs> Why are you saying it? <laughs> With so much effort. Oh, that's nice. That's a very pleasing shade. After you felt filthy and then you're full of passion and you're shameless about it and you just feel like you need to be pleased, the next one is hypnotic. Hypnotic is a matte. Kind of an interesting name for such a modest shade, no? Yeah. Hmm, hypnotic. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Huda. Next one. It's called hard. <laughs> it's this called hard. Hard. This thing better be hard. <laughs> All right, so this is another one of those marble creams. This might be the hypnotic marble cream. So let's swirl that. Ooh, ooh. A lot darker than I expected from the pan. Okay. Wow, yeah, but very nice. gorgeous. I like that. Untamed. A bit dry on application, but let's give it a double dip. Nice color. Very nice color. I love these really types pretty. of wine colors. Yeah. I feel like they're just so flattering on anyone. Irresistible. Oh, I have a feeling this next shade might be my fave. It's just so expensive looking. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Just gonna smudge that out a bit, but yeah, the drag on that is that's dope. Gorgeous. Flower power. I'm sorry. No, please go on ahead. Go on ahead, please. Don't don't mind me. Don't mind if I dip into that flower. Flower power. 
flower power is next and it is pretty Woo! again it's one of those shades that comes off lighter than what it looks like in the pan that's pretty but it's just so mesmerizing next rough rough <laughs> rough oh my god we're having too much fun with these names i love names like this though these are the fun palettes for me yes let me give it a double dip you feel that was pretty pretty good swatch yeah, for that good yeah okay spicy mm. arouse <laughs> <laughs> why did you look at me <laughs> embrace these sexy names yeah. <laughs> <laughs> your voice is this an arousing shade for you? A little aroused in, in the crease. I'm sorry guys, my swatch model is <laughs> apparently five years old. <laughs> Slippery. Slippery, so now that is the encapsulated jelly type of formulation shade. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my apologies. That is so wow. cool. It's like a glossy, pinky. It's like a lip gloss for the eyes. Little eyelids. shimmery situation. I love that. And apparently this shade you can use not just on your lids, you can also use it on your lips, on your cheekbones. I totally get it. I which is it. why I have my hair up today. Tantric? Tantric, ooh. It's like gold flake, yeah. Wow. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to figure out what my look will be. It's a very sexy palette actually. Naughty. Naughty. I love it. Next. Provocative. Provocative. Another marble shade. Desire. What are you desiring right now? Lily. Lunch. Lunch, me too. Lunch would be Wow. Nice. That might be my favorite. That's gorgeous. Oh my God. That's dope. And we're gonna close it out with Juicy. Juicy. Oh yeah. A great little blend color. Oh, yes. Awesome. Okay. Deuces. Thank you. So now that we've swatched the Naughty Nude, now that we know what all of these colors look like on an actual flesh tone, let's actually compare this Naughty Nude palette to the original new nude okay so the new nude who this palette from about i want to say two years ago it's kind of like the predecessor to the naughty nude so the new nude i do believe this was the first palette with the marble sort of shadows i think was the first palette for Huda with the glitter formulations, but I can definitely see that they are sister palettes. This one is also very pinky leaning. It's got some purple tones, some wine tones, but overall this is clearly a nude palette, whereas the Naughty Nude palette is definitely more of a brown story. It's definitely more of a chocolatey, warmer, sexier version of the new nude. I know a lot of people love nude palettes. They love that barely there sort of eyeshadow shadow but for me I far prefer a punch so off the bat I'm gravitating more towards this color story just because it has a lot of deeper tones that I generally personally reach for more often so I'm excited to create a look with this I'm gonna use my Fenty Beauty primer as always and per usual I actually just want to create one look with this palette I definitely want to use as many eyeshadows as I can now that I've swatched them all now that I know how each one feels I want to see how they perform generally speaking I find it that Huda Beauty eyeshadows work really well with the Fenty Beauty primer which is why I'm using it today I'm gonna to apply that all over my lids because my lids are very very oily all right so i'm gonna pick up this uh trend mood x sigma e25 blending brush and i'm gonna dip into that shade arouse this color swatched very beautifully i loved how warm it was i'm gonna go ahead and add this shade to my eye socket area so well above my crease kind of just surrounding my eye socket and cutting the space between my lash line and my brow bone in half. I definitely want to create a sexy look, something that is demure, something that could be for the boudoir perhaps, but I also definitely want it to be wearable and something attainable that those of you who are watching can easily recreate, recreate, recreate. <laughs> All right, so I'm just like softly applying that shadow and I'm kind of pulling out that wing towards the tail end of the brow. My brows are already laminated, already set. I already have my Huda Beauty stick foundation on. I do have a review on that. If you guys haven't seen it, I will link it up here. 
So far, this foundation has been the one for me. Ever since I reviewed it, I haven't put it down. I've been using it every single time I go out, every single time I film, every time there's a need for me to have makeup on. That's the one that I reach for because it's just so natural looking. It doesn't give me that cake face and doesn't look too full coverage. It's just like me in my own skin. All right, let's apply the same shade to this side. So notice that I'm first like packing it on and then I'm kind of blending it out. So now I watched Huda's reveal video, both parts of her reveal video for this palette. The part about the inspiration and also the part that was talking specifically about the colors and their textures. And I gotta say, her story about embracing her sexuality and finding out who she is really, really resonated with me. Now, many of you guys know, although I live in America, I was not born in America. I was born in the Soviet Union and I came to America when I was a child with my parents. But still, my upbringing was always very much that of the Eastern Hemisphere. My family is also very, very mixed. My father's side of the family is Muslim. They're from a small Central Asian Republic. And although I wouldn't call them conservative, I would definitely call them very modest. They are very modest people, not loud and boastful. They're proud of who they are, but they're kind of like quietly, modestly proud of who they are. Similarly to Huda, I never really had any conversations about sexuality with my family let alone with my parents. So in her video, when she said that she felt embarrassed, that she felt almost ashamed to admit to her parents that as a married woman, she was pregnant with her child, I could totally relate to that. I can totally like 100% see myself being so ashamed to <laughs> admit to my parents that I was pregnant because then that would mean that I would have had to have sex and that's like super cringy and super awkward. So the way that she described that in her video resonated with me so hard. And I think that just has to do with those similar modest or conservative types of upbringings. And although I'm definitely not a shy person right now and I definitely like to show off my sexy every now and then, especially my Instagram pictures, I feel like I always think about that side of the family, my dad's side of the family specifically, the ones who follow me. And sometimes when I post, I try to not imagine what they think when they see those images but it's definitely something that has chained me a bit you know so hearing Huda talk about the struggle and being able to mature and embrace this side of her this sexy sexual side of her was very helpful for me to hear I'll be honest because it is something that I personally also struggle with all right this first shadow is Clearly very, very gorgeous. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a clean brush and I'm just gonna go over all the edges and just kind of smooth them out and pull them out almost like a transition shade. Sorry if I'm talking about personal stuff in this video, but I think it's important to note because that is literally the inspiration behind this palette, embracing your sexuality, being powerful with it, not being ashamed of it. So I can't like not mention my story. I love that. Ooh. Next, I wanna go for a little bit of Naughty. For Naughty, I'm gonna just take this Beauty Addicts Pro Smudge Brush. It's kinda like a pointy, but soft pointy brush. I don't actually have the brushes that come with this collection. I don't have them yet, but I really wanted to review this for you guys as soon as I got my hands on it. So with this Naughty shade, I'm going to deepen this eye socket area and add a little bit more definition to this outer edge. I'm also gonna darken the outer corner. I also must mention that although Huda palettes, these 18 pan palettes are fairly sizable, and this is plastic packaging, they're actually very comfortable to hold. So now that I've got all the color packed on, I'm just gonna start pulling that out and blending with the previous shade, pulling that towards my temple and brow. So far, these two matte shades have been great. They adhere really well to the base. They blend out really well into each other. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take the same previous clean brush and blend those two into each other. Don't worry about the harsh edge on the inside. Love that. Ooh, is she getting sexy? The lower lash line, I'm just gonna smudge whatever is remaining on this brush and just connect it to that top lash line. But I'm not yet doing anything too harsh. I'm just adding that little bit of shadow. And then I'm gonna take that same shade that I used for the eye socket area, Arouse. I'm gonna layer that right on top. Kinda wanna have a really light lid, but very sparkly, and I definitely wanna utilize that gloss. I'm thinking, let's go for either Irresistible or Shameless. 
I think Shameless is gonna be the one because this one is kind of like a duochrome. It's got some gold and also some pinks. So let's go for it. I'm gonna grab a flat brush, the Bomb Cosmetics Flat Eyeshadow Brush. I'm gonna grab that shade Shameless. And although these are metallics, these are almost like creamy metallics. So definitely they would apply better with the finger, but I wanna get really precise under that crease. The swatch model just came in. He said that we forgot to zoom in on the eyes. So let's zoom in on the eyes, swatch model. Yeah, eyeshadow palette. Mm-hmm, it's an eyeshadow palette. Yes. So I'm using a brush specifically because I want to apply Shameless very, very close to that crease that I created. I want to enlarge my lid space, so I just want it to be very, very, very precise. But this is one of those shadows that would apply a lot better if you used your finger. However, the finger is just not as precise as this little brush. All right, so now that I kind of applied that very specifically, now I can actually really go in and apply it heavily with my finger. How gorgeous is the shade? I mean, just super duper lovely. I don't know if you can tell how prismatic and how duochrome it actually appears, but in person, just looking at my mirror over here, I can definitely catch that vibrant pink and also the gold reflect. I think you can for sure see it on my finger. Okay, so I left the lash line kind of blank for a reason because I will be adding some liner. Flower power is what I'm dipping into with my pinky. I'm gonna stamp that to the inner corner. That was a lot more stamped than what I wanted, but we will run with it. I'm telling you, the finger is just not as precise as a brush. I'm just gonna quickly diffuse with a clean brush. Really, really, really pretty. It just brings so much light to the eyes. And the fact that I have my brows so brushed out and so glued to my head, I think actually kind of plays up the space here because it obviously gives me more lid space. So I'm gonna take advantage of that and I'm gonna do things with that canvas. I'm gonna take this shade here called Tantric. I'm just gonna add that right underneath my brow arch just for that super wet looking shine. Is that not gorge? My God. I'm gonna keep adding that right underneath the brow and kind of just pulling that out surrounding this whole area. I feel like that was necessary. That is really, really, really good. So I like that this whole eye look is very, very warm. I actually just want to neutralize it a bit. So I'm gonna grab, not it's just a pinch pale, so rough is what I'm gonna go for. Big old brush. This is Mario EF2. I'm just gonna very lightly add this shade right underneath my brow, but in the inner portion, and also kind of bring it down to meet with my nose contour. Even though I didn't contour my nose, but I am gonna do it with the shadow, just like that. And now you can clearly see the effect that it gave. You see, as opposed to this side, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. Very, very subtle. I don't actually want to contour my nose with this shade. I just want to contour right underneath the inner portion of my brow. Mm. So suddenly, that little maneuver deepened the inner portion of my eye socket. And now I think it's making that shimmery pink stand out even more. It's exactly what I was going for. Let's line those lids. Should actually probably add a little bit of a pencil liner underneath. Let me do that real quick with the Mario pencil, just like that. I'm just giving it that nice little base. And then I'm gonna blend it out. Work that into the outer corner, like that. And then I'm gonna use Spicy. I could have probably just wet my brush, but I definitely want to have a more subtle effect. I don't want this liner to be super harsh. I want everything to still look very shimmery, very blended. That is so sexy. And honestly, that's not a word that I usually use to describe myself. But truly, these colors, the story behind this palette, definitely making me embrace the sexy. I'm bringing sexy back. Yeah. I mean, aren't I though? All right, let's do the same thing on the other eye. Sealing and blending out with that spicy. Also gonna darken my lower lash line. And again, clean up that edge with a clean brush. How many of you guys have started using the clean brush method to erase your eyeshadow? Comment below and let me know. All right, so far I'm really liking the way that everything is appearing on my face. The eyeshadow isn't overpowering. It's not too big. It's not too like long and drawn out. It's very tamed, but it is very nighttime appropriate. I'm gonna take um, this Mario brush E3. Go back to the shade Arouse, just like a smidge of that. And I'm gonna start adding that to the outer portion of that wing. So from the lower lash line all the way through the wing and just continuing to pull. Just kind of using it to blend everything together and then create that subtle pulled back look. Do you see that? And it's very subtle, but it's definitely very snatched. Next, I'm gonna go back with the spicy and I'm gonna subtly 
pull out that liner in the same exact direction, super subtly. I don't want to do this with the liquid liner because then that won't be subtle. That'll be very obvious. And ultimately to me, subtlety was always a lot more sexy than being blatant. But that's just me. But obviously we're all different and we all express ourselves so differently when it comes to makeup, when it comes to our looks, our sexuality. There is no right or wrong way. As long as you're being you. I'm really satisfied with this look thus far. I'm just gonna sharpen my lower lash line a Binchy poo. And now I'm ready for that gloss, you guys. I've been waiting this whole entire video for this gloss. Let me clean my fingers before I even dip. Well, first and foremost, let me actually just add some blush and some highlighter to my face. I'm gonna use my Lunar Beauty Moon Prism Blush Palette. This shade right here, Spacey. Feeling very sexy to me right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just add that shade to the apples of my cheeks and blend it back. Next, I'm gonna take my Charlotte T Film Star Bronze and Glow. I've been using this highlighter a lot lately. This is a Persona Cosmetics brush for the blush and highlighter. I'm gonna add a bit of that glow right here on the top of my cheekbone. Also just a little bit on my forehead. Nose bridge and chin. And now I'm ready for the gloss. Oh my God, you guys. Dipping into Slippery. Actually very similar color to Shameless. It's kind of like a gold pink reflex to this glitter, to this jelly, to this gloss. <laughs> And what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add this gloss literally on top of Shameless. So it'll give it that nice, subtle, wet shine. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You could definitely, definitely see it on the cheekbones. A lot more than you could see it on the lids, but it definitely does add some interest to the lids, especially with my eyes closed. For my lashes, I have this Westmore Beauty Mascara. I'm definitely gonna need a very appropriate lash for today. All right, and for my falsies today, I'm gonna go for something a little bit more natural. So how about these She's a Natural by Patrick Ta X House of Lashes. Okay, my natural lashes are on. I'm gonna add just a little bit more mascara to both the falsies and my real lashes just to make these a little bit more visible because they are definitely more on the natural side. But I think they're totally, totally, totally appropriate for this very sexy natural look. All right, for the lips, Sigma has this super gorgeous gloss, Corderosa gloss. Remember, I love their Corderosa lipstick and I love their glosses as well. They're just so, so pretty. That is stunning and definitely not too much. I'm gonna add a little bit of a lip liner. This one is Milani in Shoop. It's just like a little bit more brown than nude. All right, you guys, so here is my final look using the Naughty Nude Palette by Huda Beauty. What do we think? Sexy? Looking at myself right now in the mirror and also in my monitor, I gotta say this type of makeup is my favorite type of makeup. It's not too over the top. It's not too natural. It's definitely visibly enhancing my features, but it's subtle in its approach. It's very well blended. It's kind of just like highlighting some of the parts that I like the most about myself, such as my eyes, such as my eyebrows, my cheekbones. And it's honestly making me feel just a little bit more confident and just a little bit more sexy to be in my own skin. I guess maybe it's the combination of the colors and also the story behind this palette that did it for me. It's the inspiration for me. But definitely, this is the type of palette that actually made me feel comfortable about sharing my own story and relaying that message to you guys. So for that, I am thankful. And with that said, let's get to the verdict of this palette. I thought that all the shadows that I used for today's look performed exceptionally well. All of them, including the slippery, very unique jelly formulation worked really well together. They blended out well. I was able to achieve the look that I was going for. And ultimately, I am really, really pleased. The color story is something that I already told you at the beginning of the video. It's something that I gravitate towards naturally because it's my kind of colors. I love sultry shades. I love wine tones and deeper, rich mahogany shades. So this palette has plenty of them. At the same time, I feel like this is a very wearable palette that a lot of people can utilize, whether you're going to school, to work, to Zoom, meetings, to pick up your kids, grocery shopping, errands, you name it, etc. Just slap on one color, pick anyone to slap on and you'll be good to go. The possibilities are endless. So with that said, this palette is definitely a hit for me. I far prefer this one over the new nude palette, although this is a fan favorite. This is my favorite out of the two. And I will even say that it comes as a close second to my favorite Huda palette, which is still Mercury Retrograde. So with that said, you guys, that is my verdict. 
I am sticking to it. This palette is available as of today, so go get your hands on it if you're like me and if you are into all this sultry sexiness. With that said, I am zooming on out so that you can check out my other two videos. Boom, boom, click on them. I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.